is JC Wu right here. Today is another video talking about ghosts. So here is a Chinese brass skirt, which is a very iconic thing for capturing the ghosts. And I'm going to repeat my lesson on TikTok about how to capture ghosts. So this method cannot be done by normal people. That's why I'm giving you a chance to borrow the power right here. If you want to learn this, make sure you save the video and also reply in the comment section saying received and you know, put some nice stickers of smileys and I will say approve when I have done the magic work to approve the power for you. After that, you can use it, okay? So first of all, we're going to learn how to write a symbol and also the spell. So make sure you save it down. Okay. So this is how the symbol looks like. Okay. So you go like this first and then this, this, down, and then like that. Okay. Now, let's do it together. Short finger right here. Okay. Write it first. Okay. In the air. Uh, so upper horizontal stroke. Okay, now the left side vertical, bottom horizontal, right side ver vertical, and then three loops or circles, okay, clockwise. Spell, ya bia hua ning jiang, yi bia xiu gui cha, sam bia ji bai sa, si bia jiang xin ning gip gip yu lu ding. Okay, so how to do the magic, first of all. You need a container that is not transparent. Okay? Anything works like a coffee jar or whatever, cans, it works. You need a lid to cover it. Okay. Now, first thing, open the lid. Then, short finger, right hand, like this. Put it at the chest or heart. Close your eyes. Visualize the altar right here to borrow the power. Okay? Make sure you have got the approval. Now, close your eyes. Visualize, once you got a picture or the visual inside, stomp the left foot once, okay? Pull out, open your eyes, pull out, dot the heart, stomp the right foot and <laughs> blow, okay? Now imagine something on top, like a little light bulb on top, circle, okay? Now you see my palm facing myself after the circle, right? Okay, raise this chop into the opening okay now raise to like left upper corner right upper corner do a circle okay to the shoulder storm the right foot okay now you start writing the word right here so storm the right foot Okay, and then face the other side right here. Imagine like we're capturing right here, right? Three time counterclockwise. And then storm the right foot. Shoo! Okay, now facing this way, as you go counterclockwise, okay, you are also doing a breathing pattern 416. Breathe in four seconds, hold one second, breathe out six seconds, or using the nose. This will lead the energy or the negative soul, right? The energy to go inside. After you're done, after a while, okay, like this, and then put it back in, like that. So you capture the stuff, right? Then it's about releasing. So if you want to release it, you go to a place, uh, like a park or something, find a tree or a rock or something that can take the impact. So best is like a tree because it has life, but it's not going to like really do anything. Okay, so yeah. And then you open this, do the same thing, right, that you just did. And after the keep, keep you doing, you will face the tree and then you go storm the right foot and fong, okay, fong. And then while you're doing this, you can do a clockwise circle and a breathing pattern of three, one, seven. Breathing three seconds, one second hold, out seven seconds with the nose. Okay, after the last uh, bit, okay, all in and then put it back in. There you go, and now it's emptied. 
So for us Taoists, we have more things that we can do with it. For example, we take it to our altar to cultivate and grind the stuff, or we can release it into our altar and let the altar digest it. But anyway, for normal people, this is what you can do. And it's actually very useful because the ghost that we're talking about is something that you will experience every day. So what is the ghost? The ghost is the negative soul energy. So negative soul energy is like the power that you use when you use your mental power, when you think. So when people are thinking about you, cursing you, or have like negative thoughts about you, like scammers, they want to scam you, right? So their, their mind is like negative to you. When you pick up a scam call, there goes some soul energy that you can capture already. And sometimes they're like people curse you or you, you're like a customer surface and then, you know, the customer keep cursing you about whatever things, right? Like, or maybe they're just like frustrated or maybe they're like super sad, down, depressed, or maybe your friend just like got broke up and like keep telling you how sad they are. All these are negative uh, soul energy that is harmful for you, okay? Negative soul itself doesn't need to be harmful. For example, the good ghost would be like someone loving you or someone want, wish you to have a good future. These are okay, you know, they're not harmful for you. But things that are negative, negative, like very bad intention for you, or maybe your friend is like keep telling you about their breakup situation, their broken family, right? These are not good. So you want these negative mental energy right, to go inside and not stick on your body. When these things stick on you, what happens? Well, it goes in and affect the way you think and affect the way you feel. And then eventually, all the things in life is being disturbed and being affected negatively because of these ghosts that is around you. So capture them release them somewhere else that can take it, maybe like the park outside, the tree outside, and let them take it for you so you don't have to. We'll see you in the next one.